Hello, welcome. As you have seen in our screen, today we have a very informative and important topic. First of all, welcome to the session. As we all know, the rig safety officer has a lot of responsibilities in the rig. When he is present in his in his hitch, he has a lot of duties to perform. But here I tried to accumulate some important duties and responsibilities and his task daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. So that's why I kept the name of the topic is Rig Safety Officer Daily, Weekly and Monthly Activities. So I promise you we are going to learn a lot in this session about the activities of the Rig Safety Officer daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. So welcome again. So the first is the Rig Safety Officer activities, the daily basis. Here, what I am mentioning and explaining, those are the very important duties, daily basis, weekly basis, and monthly basis. But apart from these, the Rig Safety Officer has further and more responsibilities too. But these are the important things and these are the important activities that he has to perform every day and once in every week and once in every month. So we are going to start from the daily activities, risk safety officer activities, daily basis. So the first of all, uh, <clears throat> it is a pre tour safety meeting. The next job safety analysis, JSA, stop card he has to distribute the blank stop cards to the recruit when the recruit come for the tour he has to distribute the blank safe uh, stop cards and after some time he has to uh, collect and he and uh, the field um, uh, stop cards the workers the recruit fills the stop cards according to their observation what unsafe conditions once if act, they observe in the rig site, in the rig floor, in the mon uh, monkey board, in the mud tank, uh, in the mud pump area, in the cellar, cellar area, and uh, mixing area, the um, in uh, the for example the pipe rack area, pipe uh, catwalk area, pipe ramp area. So, <clears throat> in all the areas in his 12 hour shift, what the important safety related observations either positive or negative the significant observations the rig crew mentioned in the stop card and <coughs> the safety officer has to collect the field stop card and mention in the observation records he, he mentions the stop cards in the uh, corrective action register too and uh, and it's responsibility of the rig safety officer to uh, clo the, the closure of the observation. And next is daily HSC report. The safe rig safety officer sends daily HSC report to his HSC coordinator and company man. And the forklift operator daily inspection checklist, which is filled by forklift of operator. Next is the crane operator daily inspection checklist. And uh, the daily inspection checklist is also called the, the pre-use operational uh, checklist also. There are two different names of the same format or the same thing. The next is the man lift. It means the Gini daily inspection checklist, the welding shop daily checklist, and then attending daily meetings. The rig safety officer needs to attend the daily meeting with the company man, tool pusher, rig manager, and medic. And then rig site visiting and note down the safety of the observation points, what the unsafe conditions and unsafe behaviors he observed. He has to mention his um, uh, daily observation report and he has to 
advise the correct way uh, of uh, performing any kind of task. If there is any unsafe condition, he has to uh, make the condition favorable and safe. The next is update trending matrix, then update corrective action register, daily follow-up issued permits and file it. When uh, he has uh, he has to ensure that the permits we are which are issued daily he has to collect the permit every day and uh, he has to file the the permit there are three copies of the work permit and he has to file all three um, um, copies of the work permit together and along with the this permit he has to file the pre-job safety meeting uh, attendance as well Next is the daily pre-job safety meeting and file it and client HSC alert or HSC flash discuss in TBT and file the attendance sheet. What happens actually if uh, the client has many uh, rich sites, they have many wells which are in um, uh, under operation, the, the, the different contractors are doing the drilling activities, the workover activities and uh, well servicing um, activities so if any of the area if there uh, any accidents happens happen so after the investigation of that accident when the report is prepared then <clears throat> uh, and, and then those information in the form of HEC alert or HEC flash are uh, distributed by the client to all the rig sites to all his contractors for, for the awareness so that the same accident could not be take place again in any other area. So this is, a, uh, we can say this is a learning from the, the case study. So these all the activities the rig safety officer has to perform in his daily, um, uh, daily tour. So these are very important for the rig safety officer. And next we are going to see the rig safety officer activities weekly. The weekly, uh, the first is corrective action register which which I mentioned in the daily as well because the car the car stands for corrective action register it's very important because all the the observations which are observed by the the, the rig safety officer the contractor safety officer and as well as by the the client HSC advisor and the company man or um, uh, if you find any important um, uh, points in stop cards we maintain in corrective action register so the risk safety officer has to maintain the corrective action register regularly and as well as he has to ensure that the closure of those um, uh, observations on time so this uh, corrective action register maintenance corrective action register is very important that that's why it is in the mentioned in the daily activities and as well as in weekly activities then weekly safety meeting there is a weekly safety meeting uh, for all the rig safety officer with his uh, HSC coordinator and then drops inspection the drops inspection and this this weekly drops inspection is uh, does not conducted by the third party okay for your knowledge this drops inspection which is performed weekly this is performed this is done by the rig crew then weekly smoke detector inspection, then the drills as per the schedule. Then there are there are some drills, for example, if that is an H2S suspected or known uh, well, <coughs> or, so the, the, the H2S drill will be carried out weekly. And the well which is uh, which is not suspected or known for the, for the H2S presence, then H2S drill will be conducted uh, once in two weeks okay um, once in every 14 days so and other drill in a weekly which comes in uh, in the rig side that is fire drill the fire drill is uh, performed weekly so the drills which are performed and uh, sometimes uh, the pit drills we can say because pit drills uh, and uh, trip drills because uh, the frequency of the pit drill and the trip drill is twice in a week. So maybe it comes in, 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 in 
in seven days also in weekly also so the paid, the, the responsibility of performing the paid drill and trip drill is the driller is the responsibility of the driller but the safety officer has to ensure that all the drills are being performed on time and the next is the risk safety officer activities monthly so the in this uh, list the number one is HSC audit then fire extinguisher inspection because fire extinguisher is inspected monthly then SCABA SCABA stand for self-contained breathing apparatus inspection then monthly ambulance inspection monthly report to head office the rig safety officer is responsible to send a report to the head office once in a month along with the daily report the rig safety officer sends daily report but this time he has to send to the hsc coordinator and company man on a daily basis but there is a special report which is sent once in a month by the risk safety officer to the head office then monthly camp inspection the risk safety officer has to perform monthly camp inspection then fire drill at the camp for your knowledge I, I believe that you people know and you people are well aware the fire drill is conducted weekly at the risk site but the fire drill at the camp the main camp this is a main camp once in a month so fire drill in the camp full body full body harness derrick emergency escape system monthly inspection and derrick climb assist monthly inspection checklist so um, these are some important activities which are uh, monthly basis uh, which must be performed by the risk safety officer and uh, i believe that this in, um, uh, <coughs> short and informative session is uh, is very good for every risk safety officer and it will definitely enhance uh, your knowledge and uh, uh, and the knowledge um, also um, accelerate the confidence for everyone so please uh, subscribe my channel and share my videos to your friends and uh, in future i will keep on making the very informative videos related to rig hsc or or hsc uh, thank you very much for uh, viewing my uh, video thank you very much